Oh, Mother Africa, you whom we call Mother Akebran, you once had great sons in Africa. You once had great sons. Oh, you once had was said here for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, who looked the face of the colonial masters, the white men, and said, No, we will not be called Gold Coast, for we are Ghana, oh Mother Africa. You once had great sons. You once had Thomas Sankala, who looked the face of the colonial masters, the white men, and said, No, we will not be called Opa Vota. For we are Burkina Faso, oh, Mother Africa, you had great sons. You have Morimo Julius Kamberege Nyerene of Tangaika, today known as Tanzania, Mother Africa. You once had great sons. You once had Felix Sifabwani of Africa Coast. And in Nigeria, you had Dr. Namdi Azukiwe and Tafawa Balewa, oh, Mother Africa. You once had great sons. You had Augustino Neto, Amuka Cabra, Eduardo Molen, Modibo Kaite, Hamed Sokotule, Kenneth David Kaunda. You once had great sons, Mother Africa. Jemoko Yete, oh Mother Africa. You once had great sons. You had Sivoni Soliumpio of Togo, Patrice Trumumbo of Congo. Oh, Mother Africa, you once had great sons. You once had Samuel Doe, and you once had the great son in South Africa, Madiba, Nelson Mandela, who stood his ground and said no to apartheid government that was instituted in 1948 by Hebrew for food and said no, South Africans must be free of the apartheid government. Mother Africa, you once had great sons. You had the great son in Ethiopia, Emperor Her Celestia, who fought and defeated the European powers in 1938 in the wall of Adowa and said no, Ethiopians must never be colonized. Oh, Mother Africa, you once had great sons. And even in America, you once had great sons. Marcus Garvey, whom Bob Marley called the buffalo fighter in the heart of America, oh Mother Africa, you once had great sons. You had Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whom on the 28th day of August in 1963, stood the Lincoln Memorial Ground and screamed, I have a dream. Oh, Mother Africa. You had Malcolm X. You had WDD Boudoir. Oh, Mother Africa. You once had great sons. You have Patrice Lumumba of Kenya. Whom we call Pierre Lumumba. Oh, you had Morimo in South Africa. You have I myself, the modern day town crier. Oh, Mother Africa. But today, your sons and your daughters, your political leaders in Africa, are now an irony and a paradox at the same time. They have become a logical metamorphosis of a complete disaster. Men and women who have an insatiable desire for public funds, when your previous great sons fought so hard to regain your independence, your present sons and daughters are busy looting on the industrial scale, looting and leaving the people in abject poverty. And now your people journey through the Sahara Desert and the Mediterranean Sea only to be colonized the second time in Europe and America, oh, Mother Africa. Oh, Mother Africa, will you ever be great again? Oh, Mother Africa, will we, women, are constantly putting our heads on the chopping board, be ever celebrated again? Oh, Mother Africa, when will your people recognize their potential? You, a continent with so many rivers in your bellies, will your children ever fish from your river? Oh, Mother Africa. 
when we your people know that they have a lot to benefit from mother africa for we know that one day your people shall know that indeed wisdom is the principal thing <laughs>